What's up guys, it's Serge. Today I'm going to give you five tips to become a faster guitarist. Tip number one, have the least amount of tension in your left hand as possible. If your left hand is like this, and you see a lot of veins popping out and it's feeling really clenched and stressed out, that'll make you tired really fast. So have very little tension in your left hand. Have only as much tension as you need to make a clear sounding note. Number two, hold your pick correctly. I like to hold the pick between my thumb and my index finger. I have somewhat of a firm grip on my right hand. I'm not squeezing the daylights out of my pick, but I do have a somewhat of a firm grip on it. But when you actually pick the string itself, you don't have to pick that hard. Tip number three, accent notes. When I'm doing those two string runs like this, pretty easy for my mind to, or my brain to sort of comprehend what's happening with, with those notes. But if I go that fast, my brain can't go. So I'm going to choose a note to accent and see if you can hear that when I do this exercise. So the note I chose to accent was this one. It's easier for your brain to comprehend going back to a certain note rather than comprehending all of them at one time. Tip number four, dig your right hand deeper. A lot of guitarists find that their right hand likes to move faster than their left hand, so it sounds like this. One thing that you can do right now to help that problem is if you just dig your pick a little deeper into the string and then it's gonna sort of slow your time with your right hand down, but it's gonna sync up your hands better. You can even hear a little bit more of a pick sound because I'm just digging a little bit deeper into my strings with my pick. Tip number five, practice. This is a pretty generic answer, but if you can't play something perfectly at the speed that you want to play it, then obviously you have to play it slower first. I don't want to give the canned answer of just, Oh yeah, I play it slower with the metronome and then go faster. Yes, you should do that, but um, a way that I like to do it is I'll find what speed I can play it absolutely perfectly. Then for like three practice sessions, I'll, I'll practice it at 50% of that speed, which is getting it completely perfect no flaws and the next three practices i'll do like 75 percent of that top speed then the next three practices i'll do like 90 to 95 percent of that top speed and then after that i'll try and get 100 percent or more after that i think that's a way more efficient method than just doing like one speed and then bumping it up two clicks and then bumping it up two clicks i think it's a lot better to kind of do it in sections also at the end of every practice session i would recommend just a couple times, one to three times or something like that, try and play it as fast as you can or at the top speed, even if it's not perfect. This just sort of helps your brain sort of get into that mode of uh, jumping up to speed, basically. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, subscribe, and make sure to keep watching my social media for any upcoming music. Wink, 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 wink. Okay.